The 10th test flight of the SJ-100 prototype, which is equipped with PD-8 engines developed by Rostex United Engine Corporation, UEC, has been successfully concluded in Komsomolsk on Amur. The aircraft achieved a speed of Mach 0.81 and an altitude of 12,200 meters during the 3-hour and 20-minute flight. This altitude was maintained by the aircraft for approximately two and a half hours. The fuel efficiency of the cruise power plant was evaluated at its highest altitude. Engine performance was evaluated at mid-altitude under zero normal load, which simulated weightlessness in accordance with the test protocol. The PD-8 engines exhibited consistent performance in all of the tested conditions, as indicated by the results. This is the first time the power plant has been tested as a component of the aircraft at such altitudes, velocities, and load conditions. In the meantime, the interiors of nine SSJ-100 aircraft operated by the airline Rossiya have been transformed into a 100-seat configuration by specialists from Yakovlev. The task was carried out at the Yakovlev Aviation Technical Complex in Zhukovsky. The project was initiated in the middle of last year and was successfully completed within the designated time frame. All nine SSJ-100 aircraft that are currently involved in the program have been reconfigured to a 100-seat configuration. Specialists from Yakovlev, UAC Engineering, and Aviation Interiors devised new design solutions and upgraded various cabin interior elements as a result of the cessation of imported components for cabin reconfiguration. Dmitry Borisenko, Deputy General Director of PJSC Yakovlev for Civil Aviation. Customer support said, this joint project with Rossiya Airlines is yet another proof that the customer sets the requirements and we as the manufacturer are always ready to meet them. I would like to point out that we were able to complete the reconfiguration of the SSJ-100 aircraft even under unprecedented sanctions thanks to the professionalism of the entire project team. As per John Berg, CEO of Rossiya Airlines, we approach this project as a large-scale and technically and organizationally complex task. Nevertheless, with the support of PJSC Yakovlev, the project was successfully completed on time. For us as an airline, the completed reconfiguration of part of the fleet offers even greater flexibility. As for certain types of routes, it is more practical to use aircraft with a single-class economy layout of 100 seats instead of the two-class configuration, 12 business class and 75 economy seats. There is an update on the MC-21 aircraft too. The Irkutsk Aviation Plant's MC-21, a fully Russian passenger aircraft, is expected to begin mass production by mid-2026. Around 230 test flights are necessary to finalize the aircraft certification, as per the Deputy General Director of the Russian Aircraft Manufacturing Company. This procedure must be completed by mid-2026 using two aircraft units. Once the program is completed, the airliners will be delivered to customers, the country's airlines, the company's press service reported. On April 29, 2025, the MC-21 aircraft's inaugural flight was conducted with a comprehensive array of domestically manufactured systems. Russian avionics, air conditioning, power supply, radio systems, control systems, and navigation systems were all examined during the test. The certification procedure was able to advance to the next stage as a result of the flight's smooth operation and the reliability of all systems, as stated in the statement. The aircraft will be further equipped with hydraulic systems and wheel brakes that are manufactured domestically, which will completely replace foreign components. Specialists will conduct an additional four or five test flights to evaluate the aircraft's performance across a variety of modes and altitudes prior to its transfer to Zhukovsky in the Moscow region to continue the certification process. It is also anticipated that the second MC-21 aircraft will resume flight in the summer of 2025. Previously, this aircraft was outfitted with imported power units. However, it has since been upgraded to Russian-made PD-14 engines, and its wings have been replaced. The initial test flight, which lasted precisely one hour and 15 minutes, achieved velocities of up to 580 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 3,000 meters. The crew was commanded by Alexander Guskov, an experienced test pilot, and Roman Taskev, a hero of Russia. 
the reliability and stable operation of all installed equipment were unequivocally confirmed by both pilots. Consequently, the certification program's finish represents an important milestone in the complete import substitution of critical components in the production of civil aviation in Russia. Now, do you think Rossiya Airlines' project shows that the Superjet interiors are also ready? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, we invite you to join our membership